Okay, so this is the wiring um, that we have in place for our last two videos. Uh, in the first video, we set up the breadboard um, with the GPIO extension board to make an LED blink. Um, then we, in the second video, we set up this button to control the LED so that it would turn on and off whenever we pressed the button. Okay, now we're going to add a buzzer to this, uh, this setup here. So we're going to need another male-to-male uh, -male jumper wire, and you want to pick a color that's different from the colors that uh, we've been using. So I'm going to go ahead um, and use blue for my buzzer. And then you're going to need another ground. So find um, another black male to male jumper wire. And so I've got um, black for my ground for the buzzer. And then I've got a blue uh, male to male jumper for the power side of my buzzer. Okay, and then you'll need a buzzer which uh, would look like this from your Free Mobile Electronics Kit. Okay, um, there are active buzzers and passive buzzers. Okay, you can tell the difference because the passive buzzer does not have um, any uh, plastic coating on the bottom. Right? When you look at the active buzzer, that does have a plastic coating on the bottom. So I'm going to take this blue jumper wire and I'm going to attach it to a GPIO pin um, that I haven't already used. So let's do, I think I'll do pin, uh, let's go to pin 16. And so I'm going to press that jumper wire there into GPIO pin 16 and I'm going to come down to a free spot on my breadboard so I'll go ahead and use uh, row 30. So I've just jumped um, with the blue from GPIO pin 16 to row 30 on my breadboard. Okay, now I'm going to plug in my buzzer and the buzzers do have uh, polarity and it might be kind of hard to see if the camera will focus on it here there's a plus sign on the positive side of the buzzer so if you look real closely hopefully you can see that plus sign etched into the plastic on the top okay that has to be on the power uh, rail of your of your breadboard. So when we send power through um, GPIO pin 16, right, that's where I need to have the plus side of my, um, my buzzer. So I'm going to hold it this way because I, I don't want both uh, pins to be on a powered rail. So I want my positive to be on row 30 and once you get those lined up in there then you can press it down right and make sure it's nice and snug and so uh i don't know if it's it's on there pretty tight so i don't know if you can see but row 30 has the powered pin right um and the jumper to gpio 16. Row 27. Over to my ground rail. Right, the ground rail is the blue because that's where we sent the ground from the Raspberry Pi. And so make sure those are all in there nice and tight. So now we're back to uh, Fani on the Raspberry Pi where uh, this program was what we did in the last video where we uh, got the a push button to control our yellow LED and now we're going to add to that the buzzer so we need to import 
the buzzer functions from GPI are zero. So we'll go back up here to our import statements and from GPI O zero, we want to import buzzer. Okay, and then we need to assign the variable for the buzzer just like we did for the button and the LED. So I'll just call that buzzer and we'll have um, the buzzer equal to the function. Yep. Um, and now we need to tell it which G GPIO pin we assigned to that buzzer and we used GPIO pin number 16. So I put that in as the parameter uh, for my function. Okay, so now my buzzer is on GPIO pin 16, my button is on GPIO pin 12, and the yellow LED is on GPIO pin 21. Okay, so, okay, so now we're going to come down here to our um, forever loop, and when the button is pressed, uh, we're going to go ahead and before we turn that LED on, we're going to say buzzer dot on. Okay, and um, then we'll turn on the LED. We'll let it uh, stay there for a second. And then when the button is pressed again, then we will turn the buzzer off. And then we'll let that sleep and see what happens. So let's go ahead and run that code. Okay, so now when we press the button, the light comes on and the buzzer sounds. When I press the button again, light goes off, buzzer stops. Well, can I try? Yep, go ahead and try. Push your button. And push it in. There we go.